What's up guys, this is your boy Game of Snorlax. Coming at you with the first game of Indie Games with Snorlax. Uh, this is Sea of Stars. This game came out earlier this year. Maybe a month or so ago. Maybe two. It's been a while. Um, been really excited to play this game. Been super busy with life, so that's why I haven't been updating. But I'm hoping to update a bit more than usual. Um, but yeah, I've been excited to play this type of game. It's like retro, uh, Super Nintendo style artwork, um, which is right up my alley and kind of how I, why I changed the channel name to Indie Games with Snorlax because I just love indie games. I love these retro style games. So, um, without further ado, let's get into it. Dialogue bloops. That's funny. Uh, pretty simple. Nothing fancy. Oh. See, so a start of the student bank character. Select the one who will lead the party. This can be changed later. It does not affect the story. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna go with yellow because that's my favorite color. Let's see. A blade dancer born on the summer solstice walks the path of the guardian of the god, guardian god Solon. Winter solstice walks the path of guardian goddess Luana. Ooh. Mm, actually, I'm gonna think I'm gonna go with Valerie. Welcome to the Great Archive Adventure. I suppose curiosity brought you here. An important trait to be sure. I am the Archivist, an immortal versed in the ways of alchemy. Oh, hello. But perhaps you knew that already. Yeah, not so much. After spending millennia cataloging the many events and countless timelines, I decided to return here to mull over everything I had seen. In my musings about the stories that, that filled these books and scrolls, I had a recent ep epiphany. It seems that my in my haste I may have overlooked the very thing I was hoping to find. As such, there is one special story I wish to revisit, one deserving of a witness. And should the mists of time allow a slight alteration, I believe the ray of hope that was once offered may let bloom. Yet bloom. So walk with me tonight, and we will explore a tale of high adventure. <laughs> that line there reminds me of Conan. Of magic and deceit, of friendship and wonder. But mostly a tale of heroism. One that, I believe, will offer valuable insight in the search of the resolution of the throes of the flesh mancer. I remain a bit lost amidst all these timelines and all their subtle variation, but I know just the one to make for a perfect starting point. Let us see what we find in there. Ah, yes. My story begins in a world visited by the Fleshmancer generation prior, causing much turmoil and leaving a mark that is yet to be fully cleansed. Somewhere in Effervest Island, two brave children of the Sultas are on the way to meet with an immortal spirit. In order to become fully fledged Sultas warriors, they will need to learn how to use magic without using magic. Very ninja code like. to the mountain trail. So far so good. So the Elder Mist lives somewhere here, huh? 
Do you think it's just another test? Could be, but it sure beats sitting at the academy. And so it. Uh, yeah, I'm sure glad that's over with. Apply yourselves for you will weave into... For you will... For the will you weave into the... Into it shall be your sole defense in the times of great need. My lessons taught here may appear to be lost on you. Something deep inside is compelled to learn. setting soon. We should prepare the set of camp. Split up and search for a good spot. Time for some scouting. Mother, I'm coming through. See where this leads. Could that be a stone mountain goat? What? What's this? Anything? Just a dead end. How about you? Nothing of note. But the weight in the top definitely through here. If set is setting. Come over. I'll get the fire going. I'll be right there. Can't wait for more tomato clubs. doesn't beat the face you made the first time you tried smashing a sunball. Well, I still hear the headmaster gloating. As I said, whether we be paying attention to class or by recklessly attempting to hit a projectile with your open palm, you will learn the first rule of solar magic. To be fair, he did learn. Oh yeah, uh, one only took once. You ever miss those years? Before training, just being kids, always daydreaming and getting in trouble, and making mistakes. Hmm. I'm sorry, Valerie, I didn't mean 
It's okay, I understand why he wouldn't want to join us after what happened. It's just... I wish he had said goodbye, you know? After ten years of not seeing his face, just to know that he's alright. And that's... and that we're still friends. Why do we have to get ahead of ourselves anyways? Oh, Carl. Ten years ago in the village of Moon Cradle. My whip will be something that hits really hard. And I'll pick a fast one. Won't be unstoppable. Imagine all the wonders we'll find after we learn Evermiss Island. After we leave, I, mean, I want to see the sleeper. What's that? You've never heard of the sleeper? The story says the giant serpent has been sleeping curled up around the mountain since before they were traveling historians recorded. No way. Sure it is, it's super dangerous too. But don't worry, you can't wake up. Why not? Apparently there's holes in the mountain and the wind blows through them and that plays a melody that keeps it asleep. Hmm. I like to see it too. There's the bell early and bug graves are back. Quick, maybe we can catch them before they go to the academy. Sure it will, and Moraine will be so impressed, and he'll take the two of us training right away, 
and then we'll finally be allowed uh, to leave this island. I think that's Mad Blaze, our training instead. Nah, no way. Well, you can worry about that after I open it. I mean, if I open it. Alright, let's go. Stop for a snack. Oh, what? I'm not hungry. Yeah, we just left a few minutes ago. Well, it's not a real adventure if you don't eat a snack on the road. Plus, I made something special for the occasion. Here. Yeah, sandwich. Wow, that really is good. Yeah, no kidding. But I do like it. It's the jam. I used a bit of sap from the Celestial Willow. You could get in trouble for that. Only if you tell. Hey. Alright. How do I open this? Maybe like your Lena showed me. Try opening with your palm and concentrating. You got this, Valerie. Hmm. Moon magic. Finally did it. So, but now, Headmaster must have heard the bell ring. Do we just wait for him to show up? I wonder if it can be our first adventure. Yeah, and then the Headmaster will know we're not afraid. It's exciting. Let's go. Of this lizard was an eye in your lad. 
for the two of you. If you are eager to receive training, I shall oblige. Follow me. Make sure to treat the wound and soothe the poor kid. He's not the complaint type, but if the pain seems to return, please send for me. Understood, Headmaster. We will not see your friend for a very long time. If you have any burning words, speak to them now. I. Can he come and stay with us? How long? Very long. Like a week? Not the eagerness of use, but it takes years to probably train Sultus warriors. Years? No way. But. Your friends have much to learn. Suggest they use that time to reflect upon what happened today. Lay luck will help you forget any idea of getting involved with a burden that is not yours to bear. Guys, don't forget about me. Never. If we're trying really hard, maybe it won't take so long. in the sky. Whoa, it's beautiful. I'm feeling a weird resonance like when I opened the Forbidden Cave. Good on you for noticing that. Getting closer to the stars helps new recruits get acquainted with the innate magic. It shows great promise that you were able to feel it before in this hail too, and what Arlena told me. I wish it was a small burst. They have no idea how much potential they have. It's probable. Probably for the best. Now, in the many years you will spend at the Dean's Academy, you will learn about the duties incumbent upon Sultus warriors, of the magic you are destined to wield, and the evils it, it is meant to cleanse. You will learn how to fight too, right? Naturally, you will spend your days training and studying, but most importantly, sewing. Sewing? That sounds boring. Oh, I can assure you that it is. <laughs> A mandatory task nonetheless. All who would join our order begin by weaving their will into an enchanted piece of fabric, the staple of the Sultus Warrior. It is their most prized position, guaranteeing light in the darkest places and the measure of protection against the minions of the Fleshmancer. But first, you must learn of your duties. Train until you cannot feel your limbs and then train some more. Once both your body and mind are ripe with potential, you will create a magic piece of fabric worthy of the very stars. You will then be sent out beyond the Forbidden Cave to meet with Elder Mist, for it alone may officially grant the title of Solstice Warrior. So, I understand it's not what you were hoping for, but it is what it is, required for you for the time being. Years of sewing. That will be all for today. You will be spending a lot of time in these halls, so you should make yourselves at home. To your left is the training room. You are to go there first thing in the morning. Just above is the way to my chambers. There's offloads, of course. And to your right are the dormitories. Just make sure you pick a bed aligned with your innate magic. Feel free to look around and go to sleep when you're ready. Good night.
there you are. Marine finally decided that you were ready. Um, yeah. morning in the training room. Good morning. The graves. Games. You'll be our trainer. I wish. Relina and I are leaving tomorrow, but the headmaster was kind enough to let us make your first date special. Are you ready for training? You bet. That's what I like to hear. I reckon these should suited for you too. Keep it up. I I can do this. Nineteen ninety nine one hundred. That's it for today. You did great. Phew. That was a lot. Feel free to take a break early. I will send you on the terrace whenever you're ready. See you on the terrace. Just breathe slowly. Try to release only when you feel the current passing in front of you. If, if your timing is true, it will manifest on three. One, two, three. I think I felt that. It tickles. Right there, he just did the hardest part. training will go well, but one more thing. No matter what the headmaster teaches you, remember that this is your life. Erlena. As you're done onboarding our new recruits in the way of the magic, I will provide a briefing for your next assignment. As for the two of you, it's about time you tried that sewing kit. Move along now. Piece of fabric worthy of the very stars. Sure, it's a tall order. 
Yeah, I have no idea which shape to even make. At least Headmaster said we wouldn't get it right the first time. Well, I'm bored. of Stripe was destroyed. Why can't they have a normal life? And you know the three of us can take the one on Wraith Island. We don't need them. Prudence, Erlina, there is no telling what threats we may face in the future. Valerians there were brought to Moon Cradle by the e Great Eagle. It is not the place of the Headmaster to question such things, and neither is yours. How much is enough? What about... Moyara. What about the twins? Brigades. Do not judge a sacrifice you cannot begin to comprehend. This conversation is over. They will study we're here while you carry on with your investigation. On the first eclipse, after their training is complete, they will join us for the cleansing. Learn as much as you can until then. But let's just go, Brigades. So they trained and they sewed for days and then months. Faster now. Focus and then release. The longer a dweller is left to its devices, the stronger it gets. This makes patrol duty essential. That one grow for too long, and you'll have a world eater at your hands. Against such a foe, even a legion of soldiers' warriors would be helpless. This delay will increase the chance of a world eater cleansing away targets the strongest dweller known to us. Headmaster, if dwellers are immune to our magic, how can we fight them? Ah, that is why cleansing is are always performed during a total eclipse. In these moments only, the dwellers' weaknesses are exposed. How many dwellers are left? Just the one known for, known as the Dweller of Foe. But we cannot know for sure. The Flesh Master just may have planted other seeds of evil before leaving our world. Thus, we may we must always remain vigilant. Headmaster? Yes. What happened with the Dweller of Strife? And who's Moyara? That will be all for today. A few weeks later, a sound in the night. Bowser, wake up. So yeah, what is it? I think I heard a voice coming from the entrance. What time is it? Who cares? Let's go. Alright. I am very much one to save as often as possible. Feel safe, but I hope to see you in person. I made cookies filled with the less celestial willow jam you liked. Oh, keep reading. I'm 
doing everything I can to be ready to leave when you graduate. In the meantime, I hope your training is going well. Oops, now the platform is almost up and I can see Moraine is there waiting for me. He looks very angry. I will try to drop a jar without him noticing. I guess that means I won't be able to try to visit again, but I'm thinking it'll be every day and can't wait. Hope you like the cookies. Your friend until the end of time. Carl. Carl's the best. Go up on the disc to eat the cookies. <laughs> These cookies are amazing. Can't believe Carl was just there. I miss him. He seems well, at least after what happened in the Forbidden Caverns. Knowing him, I bet he smiled it away the next day. You're probably right. We can't let something like this happen ever again. Act at this rate, it feels like we'll never, we'll never sow something good enough for the Elder Mist. It will happen. We just have to keep training hard. So they trained and they sewed for years. And they trained and they sewed some more. Until one day. Sail, mm -hmm. that's the one. Too. Hold on. All right, I think I got it too. Let's go see the headmaster. All right. No nappy. Moving forward, there will be no more sewing. I can deal with that. It will soon be time for you to leave on your journey to meet the Elder Mist. Before we do that, Zeke's Academy has one more challenge for you. Oh, our visitors. Just arrived. Perfect timing. Yeah. Right, you've both grown pretty strong. Hey, it's good to see you. We're Lena and Brooke Graves. Are here to help you review the basics of combat. Check in with them. Then it'll be time for your final test. Want to review combat basics? Yes. Let's get started. Just attack me now, in any order. perform attack and skills. With proper timing you can increase the damage you deal so that they even score additional hits. Let's see it. Press X as the hit connects to increase damage. Cool. This is good. Let's see that one more time. That was too soon. Stay focused and press the hit. of it. Most of your attacks and spells can be made more potent with proper timing, so also keep going with more hits until you miss. Oh! Don't worry about it too much, just keep on trying in your sense. Okay, now for timing your blocks. Let's get the little guy in here. To be efficient in battle, you must pay attention to anything that starts moving. The proper time you can reduce the damage of any incoming attack or spell by blocking. Get ready.
switch to a more defensive mode. KO allies will get back up on their own at 50% HP once the KO stars are gone. Oh, that's rad. One KO star is removed at the end of each round. The more you fall during the same battle, the more KOs there are, so be careful. All paramedics go down, the game over. Fight and survive until Zale returns. Magic demands damage to break. You can control your projectiles now, so let's give it a shot. Zeal for Sun, Valor for Moon. Scrolls and teach you more combos. Good luck. I will see you. Uh, cool. that? I'm descended from one line of lucky ones who got to serve directly inside the cabin. Yes, I am. Alright. Are you ready for the final test? Finally come. Over the years, the Zenith Academy has tested you in many ways. We will now test you one last time. Have you read your vows? Yes. Then speak them now. You go first, Ellen. <laughs> so that I may use my agility to cleanse this world and protect my companions, I will enter the world as a play dancer. I choose the curved blade as it will not hinder my speed or reflexes. Welcome, blade dancer. Come on, better. I did it. Now it's your turn. Ahem. So that I may use my strength to inspire hope and eradicate evil, I will become a battle monk. I choose the staff, for it won't break no matter how hard I strike. Welcome, battle monk. Today, you must demonstrate mastery of everything as you know that your enemies have taught you. Your final challenge awaits below. Please step, as step aside.
Oh, before I forget, here's a little something to keep your health full. Now, with faith in your abilities and purpose and your actum, take the leap and return as the as new recruits for our academy for order. I'm ready, Valerie. Let's do it.
there and to the other side of the they haven't even even been to the other side of the food cavern yet, how could they understand? So you don't think we should at least try to explain? You see how strong they are. We're in the uh, walk in the park. Let's see them off then. yourselves. Congratulations, Valor and Sailor. You have learned everything the Academy has to teach you. Ha! We did it. We are our time, too. We must now learn of our ultimate power the ability to use magic without using magic. Knowledges for the Elder Mist to impart. Come, the villagers have gathered to celebrate your departure. And on a special days such as this one, that the citizens of Moon Cradle are reminded of the importance of their duties. Where's Carl? I don't see him. Many years ago, Valor and Zale were delivered to us by the Great Eagle. 
Dover's on two soldiers in a row to boot. Hey, rare occurrence. Well, I remember her grand was so happy to get to meet two more before she passed. Yes, Grand. All of you have come together to nurture and protect them just like your ancestors have done so many, so many children for the Sultans before. Valerie and Zale step forward so that the good people of Moongrid will make gaze upon those who will soon join the ranks of Sultans warriors. Take it in, people. Take it in. This parading is ridiculous. I'll let the villagers have their fun. It's all they get. So you're okay with this now? Eh, you know I'm not. Now cheer with me as we send these young heroes out across the Forbidden Cavern to meet the Elder Mist. Hey! What do we do? I don't see Garl before leaving. I guess we have to play along for now. Fingers crossed that we come back after meeting the Elder Mist. Fingers and toes. Fail you, Headmaster. Go now to the Forbidden Cavern on top of the mountain trail to seek an audience with the Elder Mist. Learn how to use magic without using magic, and you shall then enter the world of true Sultus Warrior. May Luna's might protect you, Anonymous. May Selwyn's light guide you. Here, this should keep you fed for a little bit. And if your magic feels a little tough, you could take a look at these. guys so that's it for me um that is the opening to sea of stars this game is great i love the combat i love the character models and the it's a lot of dialogue but i don't think there'll be much more after this um if you like what you see go ahead and smash that like button if you want to see more from me go ahead and hit that subscribe button and in the comment section let me know what you like best about this game gaming snorlax for indie snorlax with game or any games with snorlax out